Hi, I'm Dala, and today we're taking a look at my heavily modified Nissan Leaf. But before I can tell you more about the car, I need to clean it. Blackguard knows that you have to wash it in the shade. First some history about this car. I bought this car two years ago. It was listed as the cheapest Nissan Leaf in Finland. That should already have some alarm bells ringing inside your head. Uh, it turned out that the car had a bad module inside the battery, which made it so that it could only drive like 20 kilometers and then it reported itself as fully empty. So I was a bit disappointed in it, but um, then I cracked open the battery and uh, exchanged the one module which made the car usable. I then drove it for a bit with this uh, 24 kilowatt hour battery and um, it was okay, but um, in Finland the charging infrastructure is not really that developed, so it felt like I needed some more battery capacity. Then I purchased a 30 kilowatt hour battery and I did a brute force upgrade on this car. That means that I exchanged all cells inside the battery for the bigger 30 kilowatt hour cells. This was a bit cumbersome. It worked. Uh, the instrumentation in this leaf didn't really know what the heck was going on when I when it suddenly had more capacity. So it was okay-ish to drive, but still not good since it uh, would like have hidden capacity after it said that the battery was like empty. So annoying. But then I purchased a 40 kilowatt hour battery from a 2018 Nissan Leaf, a crashed one from Norway, and I did a clean swap on it. So that means that I just connected the new battery and then used a CAN bridge to modify some CAN messages to make the car accept this battery. And this is a really really nice setup. This means that with the 40 kilowatt hour battery I get now in summer maybe 250 plus kilometers on a charge on a hot summer day like this. So that makes the car really usable. This car has been subjected to a lot of testing and um, this is the vehicle that I used for uh, all the research and development. So this right here is the main attraction. Right now the car is charging and it is uh, sitting at 86% uh, state of charge. As you can see, the gasometer goes quite high now in summer. I've uh, sometimes seen over 300 <laughs> kilometers of estimated range. But those of you with a Nissan Leaf know that that's a bit optimistic. But still, very nice to see these big numbers in the summer. So initially I was a bit broken up about this car when it had a bad battery. Like I initially thought that I would have some battery warranty in place, but since this car was an USDM, uh, meaning imported from uh, America car, it didn't have any European battery warranties in place, so Nissan wouldn't help me. But ultimately this was a good thing, because now I have the knowledge to help others in similar positions, those without any battery warranties in place, wanting to extend the lifetime of their leave. One of the biggest upgrades this leave has gotten is an Android based head unit. This allows me to run apps natively such as Leaf Spy Pro, Spotify and even Android Auto. 
This is a huge upgrade from the stock radio that comes with the base model Leaf. It's pretty awesome to be able to run Leaf Spy in the car. I have also installed a tow bar on this Leaf. This makes the car much, much more usable. But you should always check with what the legislation says about re retrofitting tow bars in your area. This brink unit is actually only for carrying bikes. To make this a better uh, grocery getter, I've installed some uh, 3D printed hooks here. Uh, this allows you to clip on any shopping bags onto it so they don't go around flying in the boot. Here you can see the hooks in action. Taking some bottles for recycling. Kept it nice and tidy. To increase aerodynamics and lower power consumption, I'm using a set of 3D printed grill blockers. It is possible to further reduce energy consumption by running smooth wheel covers and especially covering up the whole like rear wheel section. But um, I'm not really that into aero modding that hard, so I'm settling with only the front aero mods. But kudos to everyone who is really into aero mods. Another upgrade that this leaf has gotten is an OVMS install. That is the Open Vehicle Monitoring System, which is open source hardware and software. This program allows me to remotely connect to my leaf and check any like status events. And I can also start and stop charging from here. And I can also access other stuff like the climate control so that I can remotely start and stop cooling the vehicle. And also some other parameters here and I can even track the car with GPS also. So all in all a very nice system for the Leaf or for any car. Okay I think this video is starting to get quite long. If you want to read the complete history with how I started with this car along with my small business there's a link in the description to a forum thread. I've also put links to the modifications listed in this video. See ya!